In this video, I will show you how to send emails from Google Sheets to Gmail automatically based on the specific date and time. Yes, it is possible. You just need to mention the email details along with the email sending date and time and then you will see how the emails will be sent on the specific date and time automatically. For that, you just need to build an integration in this Google Sheets and Gmail application and I am going to integrate these two applications with the Pabli Connect and since I am an existing user of Pabli Connect, here you can notice I am already logged in. You can also create your free account in just 2 minutes from the sign up free button. And in the free account, you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now once you will reach to the dashboard, the very first thing you will have to do is to click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation. Okay, So I am going to provide the name something like automatically schedule and send emails from Google Sheets to Gmail. Alright, so this workflow name is looking good. Now I will click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you. Okay, so these are trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this okay understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customers okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here according to our use case whenever any email data is added and scheduled into the google sheets application then automatically send the email via gmail application okay so that is why i will select both the application in this trigger and the action window in which i am creating this automation now the idea here is i am going to connect to both the applications the google sheets and gmail one by one with the pavli connect okay so firstly select the trigger event that is new or updated spreadsheet row and this is how you will get a webhook url and with the help of this url only we are going to build a connection into our spreadsheet and pavli connect okay let me close this landing page at least for now okay so this is the webhook url which i am going to copy in front of you and let me tell you these are the important instructions which you will have to read them very carefully in order to build the connection in google sheets and public connect okay so i have already copied this webhook url going to the spreadsheet in which i am about to add all the email related details clicking on extension clicking on add-ons i'm sorry for that click Clicking on get add-ons and here I will firstly search for the Pabli Connect Webbooks add-on. Alright, so I have searched for the same and here you can notice this Pabli Connect Webbooks add-on is already installed into my account, okay? But make sure if you are building this automation for the first time, the first thing you will have to do is to install this add-on because after installing this add-on, you will have to open this add-on from here, okay? So click on extension once again and here here you will find that add-on click on initial setup and then here exactly i am going to paste the same webhook url which i have received via pabli connect okay so let me first replace the existing data and here exactly i'm going to paste the same webhook url asking for the trigger column okay so firstly read the instructions the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that data will be sent to the webhook url okay so basically it is asking to define the column name on the filling of which this automation should trigger okay so i want that as soon as someone is adding the new data into the new row of course the data will go up to e column okay so once the data is filled up to e column this automation should trigger so that is why i will add e as the trigger column because this is the last data entry column of my sheet okay and now when i will come back to public connect you will notice that it is actually waiting 
waiting for the webhook response so as soon as i will click on the send test button the data will be sent automatically to the pabli connect yes it is the same data the raw data okay let me first click on submit and here you can notice the setup is configured successfully and now when i will come back to pabli connect you will notice that the response is received already and if i will show you the details one by one here we have the same trigger column that is e here we have the same timing that is 9 am okay let me show you the same that is my spreadsheet and this is the 9 am timing is the same subject line also here i have the same spreadsheet name and we have the same details of the spreadsheet that is the email address the date row index and the sender name okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in spreadsheet and public connect is working absolutely fine and now onwards every time someone is going to add new data here those details will be fetched up as a response in public connect automatically but for that you will have to enable one very important uh, option that is send on event okay so once your automation is ready after that do not forget to enable the send on event option and let me tell you one more very important thing whenever you are working either with the google sheets or google forms with the pabli connect make sure multiple gmail accounts at the same time should not be logged in or you should either work into the incognito window yes either work into the incognito window or make sure that multiple gmail accounts are not logged in at the same time into the same tab okay now the first step of our automation is done and i want that the email should be sent on this specific date and this specific time okay so how i am going to automate this process simply moving further and before this gmail step i will apply one more action step that is delay well delay is an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can delay your automations your workflow until a specific date and time so that is why I am going to use this specific feature. I am going to delay my automation until a specific date and time, which is mentioned into my spreadsheet. Okay, so let me tell you how I am going to do that. So, firstly, it will ask you that what kind of delay you would like to apply. Okay, so I would like to apply delay until a specific date and time. So I have selected the same, and now it will ask you what should be the date and timing of this delay. Okay, so. here you can notice it is asking to provide the date and time in this specific format and that to into the utc format okay so from where i can provide this date and time of course from the google sheets data which i have already captured into the basically as a public connect response but the thing is i have the date and time field separately okay don't worry about that we can easily map both the things into a single field okay now you must be thinking what is this mapping okay so whatever the details we have captured into our previous step the same details can be accessed from this drop down and as soon as i will select that data okay let me first to map the date and then i will give a space and then i will search for the time okay so providing the data from this drop down is actually considered as mapping and whatever the details you will map here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay so this is the power of mapping and this is how this automation is going to take place with the help of mapping okay all right so i have mapped the date and time in this specific field but as per the format it is not same here you can notice it is clearly mentioned that the date should be in this y y y y m m d d okay and i have provided the date in this y y and d n m okay so basically it should be in four digit and these two things should be into the two digit okay so instead of making any changes within this automation how about i correct the date and time format within my spreadsheet only from this format feature okay you just need to search for this custom date and time and here you can notice how exactly you would like to keep your date and time format it has clearly mentioned okay so from this particular app 
arrow button firstly you can select the date and time basically whatever you would like to add here and when i will click on this arrow it will ask you whether you want this year in four digit or in two digit okay so as per the format i want this year into the two digit digit i'm sorry for that so i have selected the same again i will click on this arrow and again i want that month in the two digit only basically month with the leading zero only okay so again i have selected the same in the month as well as in the date okay clicking on apply and here you can notice i have the correct date and time format which pably connect which delay function is asking for now i just need to recapture this data into the pably connect so that i can map the fresh data okay so how i can do that simply clicking on this recapture webhook response Response button, clicking on yes, and I just need to open my extension, clicking on Pably Connect Webhooks, clicking on Initial Setup, and remember we have already defined the trigger and the webhook URL. So I just need to click on the Send Test button, and the new data will be sent to Pably Connect very easily. Here you can notice. Let me click on Submit. Coming back to Pably Connect, and let us check the response first. Okay, so where is the date? And here you can notice. is the new date is captured here okay now as soon as i will refresh my automation you will notice that this date will be replaced with the new date okay i am really expecting the same well i am sorry because that delay step was not saved so that is why it has got removed automatically okay so i will have to uh, add my delay operation once again the delay function once again it will be delay until and here in this delay date and time let me search for the date giving a space and again i will search for the timing which was 9 pm okay but the interesting thing is it has also mentioned that they want the timing into the utc format okay but the current timing which i have provided is actually the basic timing the local timing the asia kolkata timing okay so firstly i will have to convert this timing also otherwise what will happen it is going to send these emails into the utc format okay so basically if i will provide the timing as 9 am it is going to send the emails at 4:30 am at the utc format okay so clicking on this plus icon before my delay step and firstly i am also going to convert this date and time into the utc format and this is how i am going to automate this process okay go with this format date and time clicking on connect and it will be connected immediately you will notice and now it is asking that which particular date you would like to format okay so i would like to format my date and time which i have received from pably connect basically from google sheets data okay so i have mapped it successfully asking for the from format okay so i have the from format as yyyy mmdd hhmmss let me search for the same format here yyyy and mmdd okay so here i have two formats starting with yyyy but none of them is matching with this yyyy uh, mmdd okay so how about in this format only i I also add this T and Z, okay, and this is how the from format will be the same, okay. So let me add this T without any extra step, and in the end, I will add Z. And let me now search for the from format, and here you can notice now we have the exact format that is Y Y Y Y M M D D T H H M M S S and Z, okay. And this is also the same format. Now it is asking for the two format. Well, delay is asking for this specific format, so of Of course, I will go with the same format only. Okay, let me search for the same. All right, so that is my preferable time. That is Y Y Y Y M M D D H H M M S S. Asking for the from time zone. Okay, so this is going to be Asia and Kolkata. Let me search for the same Asia slash, and it should be Kolkata. Okay, I'll have to correct the spelling also. That is Asia slash Kolkata. Asking for the two format. So as I have told you, the delay is asking for the U T C and 
etc format okay so i will be searching for the same and then i will click on the send test button and you will notice that the same timing will be converted and here as i have told you it is going to provide the timing into the utc format and finally i have the same date and time and don't worry if i'm getting this 3:30 timing your emails will be sent on this specific date and time only don't worry about that okay coming to pabli connect and uh, moving further this is my delay function and remember i have already click the on save how about i click on the save once again and now i am going to map that utc format which i have just captured from this date and time format of feature okay i have mapped it successfully clicking on this button once again and you will notice that this uh, automation will be delayed until this specific date and time and whenever this specific date and time will arrive what should be the next step so basically it should send the emails automatically okay and here i will search for the gmail once again okay so i have selected the same and just like i have connected spreadsheet and pabli connect now i am going to connect gmail and pabli connect okay for that you will have to click on this button and provide the access of your gmail account okay but i have provided this access multiple times so i will go with the existing connection currently okay but if you are building this connection for the first time you will have to go with the new connection but after that you can also go with the existing connection asking for the recipient email address so again i am going to map the email address from the above data only okay so how about i search for the email address with the help of at the rate and now i am going to provide the data only into the important fields that is the sender name and i remember i have added the sender name into my spreadsheet okay so i have mapped the data from that asking for the email subject line well i have mentioned that thing also into my spreadsheet and again i am telling you whatever the details i am going to add here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay but if i will provide any detail manually here this detail will remain same okay so let us check whether we have the name of the person or not okay so currently i do not have name okay so i will go in the same way without a name only but uh, it is completely up to you if you want to include the name of the person you can simply add the details into your spreadsheet okay and then successfully map the name after this hello okay and uh, i have already prepared a small email into the notepad okay so how about i directly copy that content and paste it here so that i can show you how the things will be done very quickly okay uh, we are about to conduct a webinar with our community and as you have already taken more than 200 plus webinars so i would like you to be the part of our webinar okay this is just a basic email which i would like to send okay and let me tell you whatever the details you are going to map into your email okay so let's say i want to include the sender name for example okay so let me search for the sender name that is here okay Uh, so this is how i can map the value from the sender name here i will write thanks and lastly the sender name will be added into my email automatically and again this value will be replaced automatically okay now i am going to click on this button in front of you and you will notice how the email will be arrived on this specific gmail account automatically and at the first time when you will set this automation doesn't matter which date and time you have defined at the first time you will surely get the emails so that you can ensure that your automation is working absolutely fine let me refresh my gmail and here you can see the email is arrived and it is the same subject line webinar on business marketing will you join hello we are about to conduct a webinar on our community and as you have already taken more than 200 plus webinars so i would like you to be the part of our webinar thanks and did you notice that how the same sender name has been replaced automatically okay this is how based on the google sheets data the emails will be start sending and the data will be replaced automatically okay so 
this is how with the integration of this Google Sheets and Gmail now you can automatically schedule your emails directly from the Google Sheets to Gmail and for that you need to create this automation inside Pabli Connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually if you have set this automation inside Pabli Connect once and do not forget to enable this send on event option okay so let me also enable this once your automation is ready you can enable this option okay and here you can notice this tick mark this will ensure that the data will be sent automatically to Pabli Connect okay and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your Pabli Connect account I will also attach this link into the description box you just need to click on this link and sign up into the Pabli Connect and then you will be able to access this work flow this automation inside your public connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of Pabli connect and for the latest updates of Pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.